Is everybody going to program the clinic? Because, uh, this is the first year I've had programs. Um, a few reasons. One being it's just much easier on me, so I have the stress of in between two rooms with my notes to see what I'm going to say. Um, can you hear me? Sure. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. I don't know. Um, so, and also easier on you because you don't have to listen to be prisoner to whatever I might say that you don't want to hear or <laughs> if I'm going too fast or I'm talking too slow, you can just read at your own leisure or whatever after the concert. Um, and also, let's see, oh, before I forget, um, there are um, CD, on cdbaby.com, last year's concert, it's called Chamber Jazz 2, Floating on Waves, if you so inclined to go to the di digital downloads. And then there's also um, the D uh, DVDs for the first concert for 2012. And there's a couple other previous CDs on cdbaby.com. Um, now, the reason that you must wonder the name is Sinister Endeavor is because um, I developed rheumatoid arthritis in my left hand in the last, well, it was diagnosed early this year, but it was probably developing in the course of the year or two. And I'm left-handed, and that really presented problems for my favorite sport, tennis, and just any gripping, you know, paddles, I love to get in the water, ski poles. And so luckily I got, um, I'm into mostly uh, non-inflammatory foods, but it's very hard to stay with. But the, my point being that the reason I named this sinister, being sinister left-handed, is that it gave me a chance and incentive to focus on left-hand, linear left-hand techniques instead of comping, playing a lot of chords, like you do in jazz, a lot of different linear techniques to keep this moving. And so I just described them in, in the notes for different pieces, that's all. Um, okay, so I just a few thank yous are in order. Vicki Dyer, the office manager for giving us very generous use of this space for rehearsals. And um, Lee, for all the programs she put together um, on her Word doc, where it's called. <laughs> uh, she had to clean up some of my cryptic stuff, you know, and just kind of organize. And uh, print them all and fold them and all that. And uh, Ray here, Ray Wilson, who's our narrator, for all his behind the scenes work, um, everything, I mean, what was all oh, the reception? You're all invited to the reception, of course. <laughs> and whatever we need him for, he was here. And then Reggie from Portland, um, whom I met from the Unitarian, the Congress Street Unitarian Church there. He's our videographer. And he turned into a jam as well. The two of them had to figure out how to open up the walls. This is a big wall here with all these group partitioned rooms. And they figured it out. <laughs> two heads are better than one. And anyway, so everything got set up. Well, for that, and um, I guess that's, yeah. Oh, and oh, no, of course, my new wonderful new neighbors, the Adams family. <laughs> One D. <laughs> um, he saved me yesterday. He, he lent me his Wi Fi because I've had no phone or internet service since last Sunday, thanks to Fairpoint non communications. <laughs> and uh, generously, I just plugged it in, and there I was, in the back of the emails, I go to the library twice a day, wherever I had to go for a week. So, thank you very much for that. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to acknowledge you publicly, because like, it really helped with this, you know, getting this all thing good. Okay, so I think we're ready to play. Oh, Tim Phillips, sorry. Tim. <laughs> Our wonderful engineer, he helped me, particularly from last year, you know, he was recording, he was mixing and mastering, and he was just ready to accommodate me for what my needs and answers to my audio questions and requests and everything. So he's, he's here to do the whole job this time. <laughs> 